What's around, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well out there. This is a reading for all signs for your sun, moon, and ascendant for Pisces season. So, everybody's kind of excited about, you know, spring is about to come around. Boy, the intuition is high. You know what I mean? The imaginations are flowing, right? Some of y'all need be in an illusion, stuck in one, maybe can't get out. But those of you can get in and get out, then you know, hey, do what you do. So this is for Sun, Moon, and Ascendance um, with your Zodiac sign. So we're about to get started because these cards want to holla. What's around, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance? This reading is for you. And look at you. You got the Empress card for the Pisces season, okay? So I know you was having fun. I know you was playing around because this card just came out real playful, okay? I have like some sparkly glitter and stuff here and it just fell right into it. So I'm like, okay, Gemini's out there having a whole lot of fun. Look at her tiara, just shining with all constellations and whatnot. She's out there chilling. She is ripe, honey. She is fertile. Anybody pregnant out there? I mean, you know, you might want to check on the loved one or last person that, you know, you had intimate relations with because this might be happening, okay? And so um, take a look at that. Also, you know, you're looking into the beauty of things. You're seeing the beauty in everything. Like you're keeping it really light and, and so light that things are coming out of it. Like things are flourishing from you having this positive lightness about you. Um, and you're connecting with things, you know, you're connecting with, you know, all the elements, you know, and, um, and you're sitting, you're sitting good. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're using the feminine side more. Whether you're masculine too, everybody has a masculine and feminine. So get over it. It doesn't make you less masculine, okay? So maybe you need to bring out that feminine side. Females, maybe you are taking on more of a masculine you know, roll and you haven't had time to tap into your feminine side. This would be a perfect time, Gemini, to go get the nails filed, cuticles cut, you know, a nice pedicure, get ready for the spring, the abundance, because if the abundance is here now, the abundance is really to keep going. It's really gonna be fruitful once um, Aries and Taurus and Gemini gets here. You know what I mean? So, you know, take care of yourself while you, you are in this stage and it's still kind of you know, um, winter over here, but some weather is hot, you know, other places, but it's the time to really start taking care of yourself and bringing out your beauty. And, and, and it's going to be a natural beauty. It's nothing that you really can do, but just take care of yourself, whether that's getting more sleep, whether that is going to places that aesthetically pleases you. I don't care if it's a freaking car dealer, but car car dealer turns you on and you like oh and you got googly eyes looking at cars and you just all passionate and then that's what you need to do you know others might you know want to go to some culinary um place where the plate just looks so fabulous that you're just taking a whole bunch of pictures because you just admire you know the colors the textures all that it could be a museum it could just be sitting out at the park and watching just nature go by whatever it is you know that you see the beauty in surround yourself more of that because that's going to rub off on you and it's going to internally make you shine make you glow make you look like that pregnancy glow you know like girl Dude, what you been doing? What protein drink? Why your skin don't clear it up? Right, because you're doing things that you love, that you enjoy, and that and that's gonna bring you fertility within, you know what I mean? Abundance within. For those who are not feeling this way, you're thinking too damn much. That's what's going on. And that's what's causing you to have a creative block. So go take that advice to go out to other things that make you like, wow, I love that. I don't care if it's just looking at houses. Some people might just look at furniture and just love how furniture looks how designs look do that go and do that and that's going to unblock you it's going to be an inspiration an external oh well get it how you can get it it's going to be external but it's going to spark you or it's going to spark something to spark something with you however but you know how it goes and then you also might be feeling like oh because this empress car she's she doesn't depend on anybody she she just goes with it honey she, she she's standing her own two feet she, she got her own lounge chair, her own pillow, you know what I mean? So she ain't, she ain't needing for nothing right now. So if you're feeling like you got to rely on this person, you got to rely on that person, well, it's time to start, you know, 
getting it together, you know, so you can be this empress, you know. And a lot of you might be looking for love and looking for to be pregnant and looking for a family and to be fruitful and abundant with. But it all starts with you, you know. So if you can't get that right, then you're definitely not going to attract you know, the emperor or vice versa where the emperor attracts the empress. <laughs> you get what I'm saying, Gemini? I don't need to go no, yeah, no further because y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, have a good day and night. Sun, moon, and ascendant Geminis for this Pisces season.